Hello there guys, UltraGamer64 here, and today I've got a brand new video for you guys. Actually two. Uh, this will be a the first part of a two-parter um, video idea kind of thingy. Uh, the first part will be uploaded today on the 20th, and then tomorrow the second part will be uploaded on the 21st. So, uh, you guys have that to look forward to. I'm going to be talking about the positives and the negatives of driving. And I just made you think that I'm going to be talking about the positives in this video. But no, we're starting off with the negatives because I want to get that out of the way. And then tomorrow I will tell you guys about the positives of driving. So, without further ado, let's get into the negatives of driving. So, um, the first negative of driving that I can think of are highways. I personally enjoy highways. I think that they are much better than driving any normal road, like, whatsoever. Um, I personally enjoy highways, but I can definitely see why they would be stressful and sucky. Um, you've got to, like, do lane switches and keep up your speed to about 65 to 70, uh, depending on where you are. I know in some places, like, the speed limit is 75 to 80, which is awesome. But, um, yeah, you've got to constantly keep your speed up. You've got to keep switching lanes. You've got to watch out for your exits. That's one of the... Um, negatives to driving also is trying to find where you're supposed to turn on a certain road and trying to find the freaking exit that you need to get off of. I cannot tell you guys how many times I have missed an exit and then had to go to the next exit and have my GPS reroute and everything like that. It is such a pain. Trust me, it happened the first day I got my license. I was driving home, I was driving to work from my girlfriend's house, and I took a wrong exit, and I ended up in God knows where. I mean, eventually I made it back, but whatever. Um, so that's the first negative of driving our highways and trying to figure out which exit you're supposed to get off on and what road you're supposed to turn on. Um, another negative of driving are trying to remember where you're supposed to go. I need to use a GPS unless I have it 100% concrete memorized where I'm going. Literally, the only places I know how to go are Myers, which I'm just going to refer to the area where Myers, Walmart, all those kind of places are, like big general stores and restaurants and all that. I'm going to refer to it as the town. So I know how to get to the town. Um, I know how to get to work. I know how to get to my girlfriend's house, and I know how to get to school. That's three. Four places. I can't do math. I know how to get to four places by memory. Other than that, I need to use a GPS. So, trying to remember directions definitely sucks when you're driving. Um, I guess eventually you would get used to it. I mean, I'm slowly kind of learning where things are, but it's still a little weird and difficult, you know? Um, I can actually get to my girlfriend's house from work now. I pretty much memorized that for the most part. I mean, somewhat. <laughs> um, I'm starting to learn the ways to get places. But that's it. the se second or third, whatever one we're on. I think it's the second negative of driving. The third negative of driving is having someone in the car. I don't know why I get a little freaked out when I have someone in the car. I know I shouldn't. There's no reason to because I am a decent driver. But, um, when I have someone else in the car, I feel a little bit more responsible. I feel more, like, in charge of that person in some way. And it kind of sucks because then you feel like, oh, crap, what if I get in an accident? Then I'll hurt them or kill them or something. Which, that's an extreme example, don't get me wrong. But that's another, like, kind of negative to driving. It's kind of a bad thing, and I don't really like the pressure of that. It's a little, eh, it's okay. Um, let's see. Oh, another negative of driving? drive throughs I hate them. I never pull up to the window close enough because I think I'm gonna rip my side view mirror off. Yeah. I'm always, like, stretching out the window, trying to reach for the money, and it sucks. So, that's another negative to driving, guys, is the drive throughs because they suck, and... Just, just go inside. Just, literally, just park and go inside. It's much easier... And sometimes it's faster, too. I mean, seriously. Have you ever noticed the long line in the drive-thru and there's no one inside, but yet people keep getting in the drive-thru? I'm the only guy that's smart enough to walk in the place and order food <laughs> and not go through the drive-thru, you know? So sometimes it's faster to not go through the drive-thru. You never know. 
Um, let's see. Another negative to driving. Toll roads. Those suck too, again, because I think I'm going to rip my side view mirrors off. I do not get close enough to the window. I don't get close enough to the other thingy. And I have a problem staying inside the things that are literally like this wide, trying to fit a car in there. Um, that whole process is messed up, guys. Like, the trying to go through a toll road booth thingy, horrible. Horrible. <laughs> Um, let's see, when there's high traffic in places like, uh, oh crap, like in town, the town, um, there, there's like high traffic, there's turn lanes, there's tons of stoplights, there's tons of traffic, um, sometimes it can get a little hectic trying to remember where you're trying to go and remembering the rules of, like, all the traffic and everything, it's just a lot to remember, and that's a little sucky as well. Um, any other negatives to driving? Trying to get gas. Um, my car does not take a lot of gas. Like, my car is very slow on losing gas, so that's a very good thing. I don't have to pay for gas very often. Uh, it's about 17 bucks to fill up my tank, which is awesome. I don't even pay $20 to fill up a tank. But, uh, trying to get gas for a bigger car, I can see how that would suck majorly, because it's a major waste of money, and... I mean, it's gas. You have to have gas to make your car go. So you have to spend money on it. So it sucks. That's pretty much my only justification for that one. Um, I think that I have expended all of the negatives of driving, if I'm thinking correct. Let me think. Let me think. Yeah. I think I've covered all the negatives I wanted to. So anyway, guys, if you have any more thoughts to add to the video, then please be sure to leave them down in the description below and be sure to be looking out for tomorrow's video, uh, the positives of driving. So anyway, guys, if you enjoyed the negatives of driving, then please be sure to leave a giant like and remember to keep on gaming, stay amazing, and I will see you guys next time.